a comparison between the processes of transcription and replication. Sometimes you may be given a diagram as the one shown here and be asked whether the process of replication or transcription is occurring. It can be very difficult to decide which process it is because they share a lot of similarities. So it's important to be able to differentiate between these processes. So we'll start off by looking at the similarities between these processes. Firstly, we find that both of these, namely DNA replication as well as transcription occur within the nucleus. And that is because both of them use the DNA from the nucleus as a template. And in order to use the DNA template, the code of nucleotides needs to be exposed of the DNA and therefore in both processes, the DNA will unwind and unzip. We find that there's complementary pairing in both of the processes, albeit the nucleotides different in each of the processes, but we find that complementary pairing will occur on the template in both of the processes. And lastly, we find that both processes are controlled by enzymes, albeit by different enzymes. Now, it's important to know the similarities because it makes your studying easier, no matter which process you're speaking about, these common points can be used as answers as part of the process for either of the processes. Now, when we look at the differences, we find that the number of strands acting as templates is different. So when we look at replication, we find that the number of strands that act as templates are two, both strands. And so we, when the DNA splits on the top, we have nucleotides joining here, as well as on the, the bottom strand. Whereas in replication, we find that the nucleotides are joining only on one strand. In this case, on the top strand, at, on the bottom strand, there are no nucleotides joining. Secondly, the type of nucleotides. So in DNA replication, we've got DNA nucleotides, and we know that DNA nucleotides they will have a deoxyribose sugar and they will have the nitrogenous base thymine joining to adenine. Whereas in transcription, we have RNA nucleotides. So those will have a ribose sugar and we'll find that the base uracil will be joining in complementary to A and that would be a sign that it's the process of transcription. Also the products differ in DNA replication as the name suggests, we are making DNA. So the product is that we have two identical strands of DNA that are formed. Whereas in transcription, the product is an mRNA molecule that is formed. The length of the DNA used is another difference where in DNA replication, we find that the entire code of DNA is going to be copied from the start to the end, whereas in transcription, it's only a small portion of the DNA, which is known as the gene, which will be copied in the form of the mRNA. Now, if we come back to this question that was showed earlier, we can see that the template is indicated at the bottom, right? This one, you can see the sugar phosphate bonds are already formed here, and this part is acting as the template for the process. They're saying it's the unwound DNA of the parent strain, the original strain. And here we've got nucleotides joining in. We've got an A, we've got a C. We don't have what's joining with the A. So one clue would have been what joined here. If it was a T, then guaranteed the process is DNA replication. If it's a U, that would be transcription. The only clue that we can get here is if we look at these nucleotides, you can see it's written here, DR, which means deoxyribose sugar. And these also include a DR, a deoxyribose sugar in the nucleotides that are joining. And because it's a deoxyribose sugar, that means these are DNA nucleotides, and this would be representing one strand of the process of DNA replication. 
We hope that you've benefited in this series on DNA, the code of life. If you have any questions on any of the topics or any of the videos, feel, feel free to add that into the comment section and we will answer your comments. And there is another series on the nervous system. The playlist is uh, showing on this page. So you can click on that and you can use that to learn about the section on the nervous system.